Well, if you've ever wondered why consumers around the world are swimming in record debt, a new survey may shed some light on that question. Your personal investor, Dale Jackson, looks at some shocking results from a financial literacy test. Are these yeah. Canadian consumers or consumers around consumers the world? Consumers around the world couldn't let this one slide. It was something from the Atlantic. And it was uh, people around the world in, in developed countries. Now, Canada was not included in this, uh, but Europe, Japan, the U.S. So our peers in the developed world. And it asked three basic questions. And more than half the respondents couldn't answer the questions. Let's get into the questions. Folks at home, you can try, you can try this as well. See how well you're doing. A number one question is, suppose you had $100 in savings and the interest rate was 2%. After five years, how much would you have in the account? Uh, would you have more than 102, exactly 102, less than 102? Of course, you would have more than 102. That's the whole point of making interest and having a compound. The second question is, imagine that the interest rate in your savings account is 1% and inflation is 2%. After one year, do you have, do you have, can you buy more? Do you have exactly the same or do you have less with the money in this account? Of course, it would be C because you're losing 2% through inflation while you're only getting 1%. This is a, this is a, the, the, the zinger right here. Do you, the third one is, do you think the following statement is true or false? Buying a single company stock usually provides a safer return than a stock mutual fund. Uh, a, true or B, false. Of course, that's the whole point of diversifying. When you put, you have a single stock, you could lose your money. I, gain a lot more but by diversifying it through different equities you will, mm -hmm. you will save that you will you will lower your risk and uh, survey results on these uh, seemingly elementary questions showed a, a lack of understanding of even yeah. basic concepts it was very profound i mean first of all it looks at you know so some of the problems we're having with that uh, as far as what, how canadians how far they're in debt right now and not understanding the basics of compound interest uh, a lot of times you know credit cards they double digit uh, interest on balances owing mm -hmm. in some cases up to 30 percent and a lot of us look at them and uh, while we think we can save it's a double-edged sword well we think we're saving on one point all our savings are getting gobbled up by interest rates because we don't understand you know right. the basics of that uh, so you know just looking at uh, uh, percentages and compound interest and knowing that it works both ways uh, is basically at the heart of, of what the problem is and uh, they don't teach us I, I, I hope they teach credit card debt to high school students who uh, are, absolutely. are just a couple of years away in absolutely. any case from getting their own credit cards.